Welcome to another video. My name is Eli Penner, and we just spent last night in an abandoned village. So, you're probably thinking that this area that I'm in right now doesn't look abandoned. And, well, there's a campground here that's pretty well kept up. But this is an abandoned village. I'll uh, show you a couple videos and a couple pictures of the area. Uh, last night, Josh and I did a little bit of explore. We walked through some of the houses. And, yeah, it's pretty much abandoned. Why did you bring the wheelbarrow in the kitchen again? You know how daddy likes to eat. <laughs> Always going for the big bowls. Soy sauce. It's probably still good. Oh, that's house number nine. Number two. We need to find stall log 13. How does that room look? Uh, it looks pretty empty. Okay, I'll use the door. At least they painted it pink. I wonder how old they are. That's actual glass too. Made out of wood and glass. Oh, look at this. You put the window up on that. You have to go a little bit higher. Bring that across and then drop it. Down. Now it's stuck up there on that <laughs> But that idea works, I guess. There you go. There you go. That's pretty fancy. Pretty fancy. Oh, that's how you get a shower straight from the top down. <laughs> <laughs> you just tie it up. I, I wonder what this is for. That's a urinal. You've never seen one before? I was wondering what it was. It's a bit rusty. Candle wax. Oh, here's the kitchen. Sweet. I'm going to build one of these in my kitchen. It would be so awesome. I think that's so you can hold on when you climb up from the inside. <laughs> that's for Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> so you can get back into the chimney. Mosquito smoke. Oh, this 
this is nice. Look, you got you got your your fireplace right here, and then there's just a big open window, so you can just look outside. And then you've got your your kids' room right there, so you can always just watch your kids from your kitchen. Man, these are some nice big trees. Huge. So another interesting thing about this place, I actually used to live right there in that house. My dad built a power line through the jungle, uh, right back here, and we lived here. Back then, everything was a lot better. Like, there was people living here, there was actually a store, and it was nice. But right now, yeah, it's been abandoned. There's nobody living here. There's a small military camp off to one side. But other than that, I don't think anybody lives here. All the houses are broken down, and yeah, frankly, it's abandoned. Alright, so Kenton cooked us up these lovely eggs and beans and ham. So we're having some breakfast and then we can leave.
quick uh, update. We've arrived at the Chelio Dam Reservoir. And there's all the guys standing around right there. So trail getting here is kind of rough. There's a few muddy patches, but otherwise surprised how well it actually kept up. So we're going to take a few minutes here, look around, enjoy the water, and then move on. Just check out that water. And those guys. So yeah, we should bring a boat out here and go skiing. Because this is a massive lake. So it'll be a lot of fun to go skiing here. So we'll have to find some guys with jet skis and uh, see if we can do that. guys this has been a really really good trip so far um, this is the same reservoir we were at earlier it's the Chelio Dam reservoir this particular spot here actually holds a bit of a special place for me in my heart because uh, when my dad uh, did the clearing for the reservoir um, we lived right here like we had a camp right here it was a little bit down the down the bank but yeah it was this general area part of my growing up also I gotta give a shout out to uh, that bike right there. That CRF250L has held up very, very well on this trip. Like, uh, Ronald didn't have a bike, so he was riding with me on the bike. And we've been through mud, we've been through ditches, we've been through creeks, and it just held up. I mean, had absolutely no problem. So, yeah, that is, that is a great bike. I'm sure it might be a bit on the heavy side, and it might lack a bit of power, but... Oh no, it's, it really worked well. I guess that's all uh, we're gonna look at today. So after this, we're heading back to camp. We're gonna cook us some lunch and uh, let's uh, see. So we actually forgot to bring hot dogs. So we're left with dry buns and a bit of leftover beans from breakfast. So that's probably what we'll cook up for lunch. And uh, that's part of the fun of camping, I guess. You gotta forget something. Well. Let's get back out there. Hey Ronald, on a scale of one to ten, how good was the ride on the back of my bike? Uh, With one being terrible, five is you know it's you can it, it's doable, and then ten being you know it's a it's a decent ride. You'd recommend someone to do it. Six. Uh, so it's like it's pretty good, but could yeah. be better. Yeah. So yeah, there you have it. Um, you have a 250L. You can take somebody for a ride and it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be a decent ride. We actually forgot to bring hot dogs. So we're left with dry buns and a bit of leftover beans from breakfast. brings us to the end of the video so I had something else I needed to do uh, the afternoon so I went home with my bike before they were done loading but they just loaded all the bikes and sat around snacking a bit since we forgot our hot dogs at home so yeah just sat around snacking a bit drinking a bit of coke and then we went home so everybody got home safely there was only two bikes that fell down as far as I'm aware and they both fell down at the exact same spot. So here's a picture of that right here. Um, we didn't get it on video. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.